Pottery, or the art of making earthen wares, is one of the oldest form of art practices and a source of livelihood for many people. This certain craft was made of clay and was used for cooking, for storing and food preservations, decorations, and many more. Pottery making is famous in different countries all over the world, and despite of the globalization and widely use of modern technologies, pottery making still exists even up to now, and the creation of this craft was also modernized. Here in the Philippines, pottery making still exists. The town of Miyagao in Iloilo is one of the places that still practice this undying tradition. Let's discover how pottery making influenced the lives of the people of Miyagao. Miyagao Iloilo is rich in culture and tradition. It is famous for its century-old church. Aside from this, the town of Miyagao is also known for hablon weaving and pottery making. The small village of Kagba in the west portion of the municipality of Miyagao has been known in pottery making since it was the only source of earthenware in the province. With the skillful hands and creativity of the residents engaged in pottery making, this became their main source of income. Kagbang is known in producing banga or chars, kalan, stoop, kulon, native cooking pot, paso, pot for plants, and home decorations. The finished products are sold in their local markets and nearby municipalities like Tigbawan and Oton. They also have big clients coming from the province of Antique. From Iloilo Terminal Market or Super, it took almost two hours of travel to reach Kagbang. Going there, one needs to ride on the jeepney which is en route to Miyagao or San Joaquin to reach the town of Miyagao. After that, one needs to ride using the Habal Habal or tricycle to reach Barangay Kagbang. The residents of Miyaga were very cheerful and hospitable. Along the way, we had seen the improvements in infrastructures and roads were concretized. This made our travel easier and faster. After reaching the small village of Kagbang, we had logged in our names in the Barangay Hall. We crossed a bouncy bamboo bridge to get there. Some of us were frightened to cross, but that does not stop us to fulfill our main objective. The excitement we had was much stronger to find out what awaits us there. We had met there one of the oldest father maker in the village. She is Lola Enriquita Tantioco, 91 years old. She started to make pots when she was about 12 years old. She has been making pots for 80 years. She molded a clay with her bare hands. Uh, I'm a I'm a i i
in making pots, the potter needs to separate small stones from clay to make the pot smooth and in order for the pot to form perfectly. After molding the clay, soak the kacha cloth in the water and use it in spinning the clay in the potter's wheel. In a very old age, Lola and Ikita seem so fast and natural in making pots. Spins the potter's wheel smoothly like a true expert. Her callous hands proves that pottery making has been part of her life for so many years. She can make beautiful pots with variety of design within a minute. Freshly molded pot is then stored in a cool dry place away from direct sunlight to dry. After that, it is cooked for about an hour on a fire using dry hay. The last part is painting it with clay soaked in water using cloth to improve its appearance. Daga or clay used could only be found in their own backyard. We had personally visited the site and it looks like a small tunnel. At present, aside from making pots using their bare hands, they also have a modern equipment which make the molding faster and easier. This molding equipment uses crude oil and water to operate. The modern equipment were donated by an Italian philanthropist with a partnership with the local government unit of Nagao. With this new equipment, the whole community of Kagbang was able to produce more products which made their income higher. The skills which they inherited from their ancestors not just became part of their culture, but also helped them in their everyday living. Ang ganda ng mabuling na kajasama ng community rin siya kapit. Saman nga barangay kay amo dyan nga mga products makabulig dyan para sa pangadaw ng pagkain, pagpaiswila ka ang dyan nga mga estudyante. Dagal sa kunan, ang ano man yung mga kunan mo man yung mga ano na gusto ang panin malay rin siya sa nagabawal kang ang dyan nga ang source of gravitan ng ano. Especially gits ang dyan nga pangadaw ang dokag sa pagiswila rin dyan nga matahid duro na ka nga mga pottery makers nga nakapatapos lang ng mga kabataan pa sa pottery lang. The art of pottery making still exists even in the modern times, but it is near to extinction because of modern technology. Pottery in ancient times was only a form of art and was only used as tools for necessities. But now, in the modern times, this serves as a great help in everyday living of the people and even boosts the state's economic growth. Hence, this practice should be preserved and should be nurtured because it is part of our culture and it symbolizes our identity. 
is a Filipino.